All right, so we're going to take a look at the PC Engine Core Graphics Mini. This is the uh, European version of the uh, TurboGrafx-16 Mini console. So we've got this. We've got the uh, PC Engine Mini uh, four-port USB hub. And we've got the uh, PC Engine Mini Turbo, Turbo uh, controller. So it's a controller here. Um, so this was provided to me on loan by uh, Mark of Tap Reserter Games and Toys, a local store here in the Portland metro area. Um, definitely worth checking out the store. He's got some great stuff. Um, I will leave a link in the description um, for his eBay store. He does ship, um, I believe, at least within the continental United States, maybe even internationally. Um, but... Uh, I'll leave a link to the eBay store as well as to his uh, his website so you can check out his shop. Got some great stuff. So let's get this unboxed and let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to unbox the uh, controller first here. So we just get it out. I'm gonna rip it. There we go. Okay. So we've got the control cable nicely packaged there. Then here we've got the controller. But the fact that it's got the uh, get out of here. Got the turbo switches there. Feels very nice. Doesn't feel squishy or anything. I rather like it. So that's the extra controller you can buy. Now let's get to unboxing the uh I'll give that back later. Uh, let's get to uh <clears throat> unboxing the PC Engine Core Graphics. This is the uh, UK variant. All the games on the back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just I'll do it this way. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this. There we go. Pull this out. Stay. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, the manual here. Nice black and white manual. Tells you some nifty information. Of course, there's lots of interesting stuff in here. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> Not much to write home about, really. And this is the rest of the package. Okay, so let's uh, unbox the controller first, which is right here. The controller, of course, matches the console. And here you've got the turbo buttons again here with the uh, on this controller. Okay, and then you've got yeah, I'll pull this back later. <laughs> and then you've got the uh, <clears throat> the power cable, standard mini USB power cable. You're going to have to get your own uh, power adapter for it, though. Because, like, the Blizzard Classic is come with one, I'm assuming, to save on cost. <clears throat> um, the one you use for the PS Classic, you can use with this. Um, any standard USB um, uh, plug will work. I've used a, uh, a Kindle Fire when I uh, test the gameplay on this and um, on my PS Classic. So, here's the PC Engine Core Graphics unit. So the power switch there, you got the two USB ports. And then when you flip the power on, this little, <laughs> little cartridge lock there goes on. And then it looks like it's on there. And then on the back, now, <clears throat> I was looking around when, when, I, when, I went to hook the, when I went to hook it up here. I was looking around going, 
where do you plug in the HDMI? Where do you plug in the power? Because if you're looking at this, it's like, where is it? Well, you got to pry this little thing off here. And there they are. HDMI and the power. That was kind of cool, actually. I just put it back on, like so. And there you go. And that does come with a uh, HDMI cable as well. It's actually underneath here. I'm not going to pull it out because it's, it's HDMI cable. The diamond doesn't. All right. So that was a look at the unboxing of the Peace Engine Core Graphics. So let's take a look at some gameplay. All right. So the uh, Peace Engine Core Graphics has a lot of built in games here. Um, Turbo Graphics as well as PC Engine. These are the Turbo Graphics games, and then you can swap over here for the uh, PC Engine or PC Engine CD games. There's a lot to choose from. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at settings here. So we have a user manual. We got language display settings, wallpaper. Choose the wallpaper. Kind of neat. Main design. That's cool, okay. And then battery store. We're going to go back to menu. And then add sorting A to Z. Or sorting format, release date. Go A to Z here. Alright, so we've got <coughs> uh, Dracula, uh, Red Oak Blood. We've got bomb, uh, Panic Bomb Bomber and Panic Bomber. Uh, Chowaniki, uh, Gradius 2, Snatcher, uh, Spring Mark 2, Star Parator, uh, Ginga, Fouquet, Tensetsu, Sapphire, Dragon Spirit, Gulaga 88, The Genjin, Heike Clans, Legend of Valkyrie, uh, Power Gitball, Barman 84, Dungeon Explorer, Fantasy Zone, Gradius, uh, Jessican, Necromancer, uh, Nectaris, Utopia, Utopia 2, uh, Ninja Raikunenden, yeah, Ninja Ryukenden, which is a Ninja Gaiden. Uh, this is a uh, PZ Engine or uh, Bonk. I think it's actually the second Bonk game, it's Bonk's Revenge. Uh, Salamander, uh, Super, Mo Super uh, Mombotaro, then Tetsu 2. Superstar Soldier, the Kung Fu, uh, Aldenas, uh, Daima Chimera, that's uh, Ghosts and Goblins, or no, Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, Suri, Senshi, Springen, uh, I think that's Dragon Spirit, that's what that is, uh, Super Darius, uh, Ease 1 and 2, and then on the TurboGrafx side, We've got, oh, that was, that was the virtual box. <laughs> um, so you got, uh, let's see, so first game here is Airzonk, uh, Alien Crush, Blazing Lasers, Barman 83, Box Revenge, Kadash, Chu Man Fu, Dungeon Explorer, JJ and Jeff, Military Madness, Motor Rotor, Utopia, Utopia 2, New Adventure Island, Ninja Spirit, Parasol Stars, Power Golf, Psychosis, R-Type, Star uh, Soldier Blade, Space Harrier, Splatterhouse, Victory Run, and East Book 1 and 2, and Lords of Thunder. <laughs> so quite a bit to choose from. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do... Let's check out uh, Ninja Gaiden. I thought it was kind of an interesting port. Okay, so Oops. I did it again. Holy Storm Select does the um the uh, menu. 
So this is pretty much the uh, first ninja guy to end. Um, I think it looks way better than the NES uh, version. The sprites are bigger. Uh, so there's a lot more color. Things are brighter. I definitely prefer this one over the uh, NES port any day. Hated those guys. Oh, jeez. Let's scroll in the background, too. So it looks way better than the NES, NES version. Well, <laughs> it died. All right, let's look at the uh, other some other games here. So, let's go over here to PC Engine. So, an air zonk. This is where they took Bonk and made it into a um, uh, into a, a shooter. I like how big the sprites are. But the games aren't, uh, the game is not that great, honestly speaking. So I think this is worth getting. Um, yeah, uh, I'd say if you want a, a decent uh, size TurboGrafx-16 collection, it's worth getting any um, any one of the mini consoles, whether it's the Core, uh, Core Graphics TurboGrafx-16 Mini or the uh, PC Engine Mini. Uh, definitely worth uh, worth it. what you get I think in total there's 57 um, games uh, in total that are different and that is including the uh, hidden 
games as well. There's two hidden games. There's um, there's uh, there's Twin B. There is um, there's Twin B. There's one other one, and there's a couple of uh, arcade um, ports as well. Oh, games are already are already on here. Blazing Lasers is definitely, definitely an awesome, awesome shooter on the system. Turbo Graphics was definitely um, known for its schmumps. Oh, I like how powerful you get very quickly <laughs> in the game. It's definitely pretty awesome. That's enough of that. Okay, so I believe it was going to be like salamanders, one of them where I think it's the PC version. So if you hit start, or if you hit, uh, hit uh, select twice, and then up salamander. Come on. You get force gear. This is a great, another great uh, shmup. Not very good at it, but it's <laughs> still a lot of fun to play. Okay, so it's force gear. And then you've got... Um, now, with some of these games, and I feel this is something worth worth uh, noting here, um, you can get... Um, you get certain... Um, error screens, which I thought were kind of interesting. Um, for instance, if you hold uh, if you hold on select and load up Rondo of Blood you'll get this. <laughs> this is an interactive error screen, so You've got this crappy looking chain, or not chain, uh, uh, crappy looking um, Castlevania guy with a, with a whip, ball and chain. And essentially, this tells you that you're using the wrong system card. And I thought that was really awesome that they included this. Um, this is the most interactive one you're going to find. Um, there are a couple of other ones um, that aren't interactive, but they're still kind of funny. Um, for instance, uh, Chill and Nikki. I think, yeah, it's Chill and Nikki. That's what's kind of good. It's kind of, kind of funny. Again, hold on, select, run the game, and it'll tell you, it'll, <laughs> it'll tell you wrong, wrong system card. I actually went through, when I first started the, started messing around with this, I did this with every single one of them, just to see what happened. Yeah, it's, it's not too great. But, that was kind of funny. 
Uh, I didn't actually look at Snatcher. Let's see, let's see what that one, what that one's like, what that one says. And this will happen if you use the wrong, I guess the wrong format of card. Check out. So if you do, uh, if you hit select, but it's three or four times on Salamander, you'll get Twin B. So, um, so that was the other game. So you've got Twin B here, um, and then you've got um, Force Gear. Those are the two hidden games um, on the system here. Twin B is awesome. Although I don't like how slow he moves. The, the um, ship moves, but that's Twinby. Nice, uh, nice shooter. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much. Um, this is about the worst game out of the whole bunch right here kung fu the kung fu terrible game figured I, I just had to show this because this is just a ridiculously dumb <laughs> dumb game <laughs> It's so bad. I, I'm, 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 I'm done with that. But I mean, you get some great games. I mean, you got, you got Run, or you got uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, this is a near arcade perfect port too. I found this um, online, but if you want, if you go ahead and you hold both one and two and hit run, you get this really awesome uh, uh, option screen where you can change the difficulty, you can change the number of lives, and you can change the bonuses. But I haven't figured out. How to actually implement it because you'll you'll set these up right so normal six lives that's gonna be the bonus hit run to exit and then when you hit run again you have three credits and that's it Actually, that might not be true. Let's see what happens. So this is Ghouls and Ghosts. This is a great, great game. Uh, the game is hard. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a hard game. But it's so much fun. Okay, so that was... Oh. Okay, no, it does. It does give you... Oh, cool. It does give you the lives. Okay. Cool. So there you go. A nice, cool, hidden... It may make the game maybe a little easier. Cool. And again, that was both button one and two. And run. I don't want to die. There we go. Um... 
hold all three of those buttons down and you get that menu. You can give yourself six lives at just the difficulty. And make it easier to get lives. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if game doesn't play around. So that's cool. Okay. I think I wanted to showcase here. Um, I believe this is Dragon Spirit. No, it's not. It's not Dragon Spirit. Oh, it's your Dragon Spirit. And actually go down here to Blur Havocs. It's actually right here. Or not. Why am I not? No. I was wrong. It is. It is in here. Well, which one was it? Oh, Dragon Spirit, right there. Duh. It's also a really good shooter. I like the power ups you can get. <laughs> I like the two headed dragon. Okay, let's check out one more game here, and then that's going to be uh, Rondo of Blood. It's right here. Now, this game has a really long uh, intro sequence, one that I think is really not needed. So, I went ahead and I just skipped right past it here. That's where I was right from here. Because why not? <laughs> Great way to play uh, Rondo Blood. Oh. Come on. One thing I thought was, oh, I thought was interesting with Rondo Blood is that in the intro, the, um, the, uh, the audio is in, I believe, German, and the, uh, <laughs> text was in, was in Japanese. But it's around no blood. A really great um, Castlevania game. So 
maybe there'd be something there, but apparently not. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's where I know blood. All right. So yeah, great, great set of games here. Definitely worth worth money. In my opinion. Got some great games. So this has been a look at the uh, PC uh, PC Core, uh, PC Engine Core graphics. Um, again, thank you, Mark, for allowing me to to uh, review this here on my channel. Um, the unboxing. Uh, Mark runs Tabers Right Here Games and Toys, a local game shop uh, here in the Portland Metro area. Um, got some great stuff in the shop. He does also have an eBay store. Um, and uh, he does uh, he does shipping anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country. Um, he may do international, I'm, I'm not sure. I might have to had to hit him up on that. But um, he's not paying me. Um, I'm just wanting to to help support a, a local business. Um, that's uh, been been good. Uh, good little business. He's a good friend and come with deserves deserves a business. Got some great stuff in his shop. Um, so again, thank you, Mark, for allowing me to view the game here on my channel or the system rather here on my channel. Um, and uh, if you want to visit the eBay store, I want to check out the shop. I will be uh, leaving a link uh, in the description of the video so you can check it out. Again, okay, he's got some great stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I will also be leaving a link to uh, the Super Graphics. Um, in the description as well if you want to check that out buy one for yourself i want to thank you for watching thank you for subscribing as always until next time take care and happy gaming